Good morning, you guys. Happy Monday. It is just a little bit after 5 a.m. And normally I don't jump on this morning and go live because I know most normal people are probably still in bed <laughs> getting some sleep, especially on a Monday morning. But I'm sitting here and um, getting ready to finish up my miracle morning. This is something that I've been doing for quite a while after reading the book, Miracle Morning uh, by Hal Elrod and um, wanted to kind of walk you guys through what this is and part of the reason why you see me get up early every morning like a crazy lady and today's a perfect day to share this with you because today starts my five-day mindset makeover and this is really a huge part of it how you start your morning routine I remember I used to get up and it was like First of all, I would sleep in. I never used to be an early riser. I just, I love my sleep too much. And being a full time, busy working mom, I was just exhausted all the time. So I would push it, I would stretch it as long as I could. My alarm would go off, and then it was like the morning scramble to start my day. And I'm even guilty of there being times where the first thing that I would do because my alarm was on my phone where I'd grab my phone and I would like check emails or I would check messages and immediately like first thing in the morning my mind would go into hustle mode and um, so I've really been intentional on changing that up so I want to show you even if you have a crazy busy stressful morning you feel like Steph I'm I'm lucky if I get even 10 minutes to myself um, you can still get this done and I'm gonna walk you through each of the six different steps so you can have your own miracle morning and and you see I'm downstairs where I normally get my workout in still wrapped up in the blankets because it's cold <laughs> and um, this is something that I do while I get ready for my workout so I've got my my pre workout energized that I'm sucking on um, but here's a couple things that you're gonna want to have with you have a piece of paper have a journal have something where you can physically write some things in because that's gonna be one piece of it and then find a place in your home where you can just have even 10 minutes to yourself of quiet, no distractions. I know there was some times where I would like go in my closet <laughs> and close the door. Um, but for me now, this is my quiet place. So there's six things that you want to do and even set these at a minute. You guys like take baby steps, take baby steps. The first thing that you want to do your first minute is going to be nothing but silence. This is where you're not thinking about what do I have to do during the day. Um, this is just very peaceful. It's calm. It's where you can just focus on your breath. Um, and you can really just take some time and, and breathe. Just breathe. <laughs> and, um, you know, this is something too where you can use to kind of just, just get relaxed. Get, get your mind right to start your day. So that first minute is just silence. Minute number two um, is something that was kind of weird for me at first <laughs> because it wasn't ever anything that I did before, but it's really something when you talk about mindset that helps get you in the right frame of mind because it's all about that belief and it's all about that confidence. So minute number two is affirmations. This is where, um, I know it sounds really like kumbaya and stuff, but I'm telling you, whatever you tell yourself is what you eventually believe. And so any of you, if you've seen the movie or you've read the book, uh, The Help, they actually, this is a piece of what they, the small piece of what they did in the movie. I remember at one point there was, there was one of the, the ladies that was looking after a little girl and she would say to her every morning, you know, I, you are kind, you are sweet, you are important, you are, no, you are kind, you are smart, you are important. Those are affirmations. She's speaking that light into that little girl's life and it's the same thing that you can do for you so you know for me I sit back and there's some days I feel like I'm not a good mom I feel like I'm not a good wife I feel like I'm never enough and so when I sit down and I do my affirmations I am speaking positively and and saying that I'm enough saying that you know I'm a good mom today's gonna be a great day I'm setting that level of expectancy so minute number two are affirmations speak that positive light into your life because whatever you speak you're eventually going to believe trust me the third minute again is really where you get to sit back and and cast a little bit of vision and it's all about visualizing many of us have these these dreams we've got these big goals that we want to accomplish over time 
and it's easy to write them down on paper, but where a lot of people miss the mark, what a lot of successful people do is they take the time and actually visualize them hitting that goal. What does it look like? What does it feel like? What does it smell like? What does it taste like? All of those things. And so take a minute and whatever it is that you're working hard towards, imagine as if you've already accomplished it. And how does that make you feel? Because we're all likely to keep doing things that make us feel good, right? And so if you're visualizing that, if you can really um, kind of embrace how that, how that makes you feel, you're going to live out your day with that expectancy and, and doing something that's going to get you closer. So that's, that's minute number three is visualization. Minute number four is where you sit down and if you've got paper, if you have a journal, this is where you start to write and take the things that are in your head and you put it down on paper because there, there have been studies neurologically, something happens from when you take a, a goal, a to-do item, a dream, and you take it from your mind and you put it down on paper. There's something that happens in your mind that, that again, maybe it's that belief, maybe it's that that commitment to writing it down, but take that fourth minute and start journaling. Um, this is where sometimes I will just write out um, maybe things that I'm, I'm thankful for. Maybe I'll write out a couple of my to-do list items. Um, you know, I'm really trying to be intentional with what I'm doing. So sometimes I'll just, I'll write down anything that's been bothering me from the day before and I'll just put it down on paper. But take a minute and journal, or it's called scribing even, but journal. The fifth minute is where um, you can take some time, even if you're not a reader. Um, if you've done any of my challenge groups, you've seen that one of the things that I've been incorporating over the past couple months is that element of personal development. Um, and I so arrogantly used to be that person that I would go into a Barnes & Noble books, bookstore and I would see the self-help section. I'm like, I don't need any of that stuff. Like, ain't nothing wrong with me. And the crazy thing that I found was that I actually needed it so much. Like books that were going to to help things that I was personally struggling with, but that was going to help my mindset. It's how I got introduced to a lot of the things that I share with you on a daily basis. And so that element of reading, and I tell you know the, the coaches that I mentor, um, my clients, and this is something that I share with even uh, those of you that are doing my five-day mindset makeover that starts today, is take just a couple minutes in the morning, whether it's a minute, five minutes, ten minutes, and read. This is what helps to exercise your mind and it helps get you in the right state of mind. It helps you deal with some of those things that you're struggling with really, really deep down if you're honest with. Um, and it becomes something that you can't go without, if that makes sense. Like I know when I have really, really bad days, it's because I haven't been doing personal development. But this is where that fifth minute kicks in, is to read. Um, and the sixth minute is something I'm gonna do here in just a minute. I've got Stinky Man up. <laughs> he wanted to wake up with me early this morning. Um, and Item number six is getting in your exercise, you guys. Part of this is the reason that I get up so early in the morning is because this is the only time that I can get up where I'm not having everyone else in the household awake. You know, maybe I've got my little, my little buddy, my little sidekick here. But this is in part why I started waking up early because I used to be that, that person where I'm like, I'm, I'm too busy. I work. 50 to 60 hours a week. I've got a family. I've got kids. I've got obligations. Everything else is pulling me in, in a million and one different directions. I don't have time for me. But what I found was that when I kept putting others first, I started teaching them how to treat me. Meaning, you know, at some point, you've got to put your oxygen mask on first. Because if you can't put your oxygen mask on first, ain't no way you're going to be able to help the people that you love around you. And there's no way that you're going to be better to help serve them better. So you got to do you first. So after I'm done doing this with you guys, I'm getting ready to press play and get my workout in. I'm going to share my after with you guys. It's accountability that I got it done. But if you're someone that's sitting back and you're trying to slow down the crazy rhythm of your life, this is a great way to do it, even if you've got 10 minutes in the morning. I know I kind of walked you through a couple things, so I'll go through um, the miracle morning routine again. 
Item number one is to sit down in silence, to just clear your mind, be still, be quiet, and be calm. Number two is affirmations. This is that positive self-talk. This is the things that you're you're speaking life. You're you're setting that level of expectancy within yourself. Talk to yourself nicely. Be kind to your own damn self. <laughs> Item number three is is visualization. This is sitting back and thinking about your goals, your dreams. What are those things you want to accomplish today? What do you want to accomplish? in the next 30 days, the next year, and you are visualizing yourself as if you already accomplished it. Item number four is where you can journal, or it's called it's called scribing, but in short, it's journaling, you guys, where you're, you're writing down, you're brain dumping, you're taking the things that, that you're grateful for, that maybe you're proud of, um, results you're committed to creating for that day. This is where you're casting that vision. You're putting it down on paper. Remember I said, Studies show there's something that happens when you take it from just thinking about it to putting it on paper. Item number five is reading. Y'all, my coaches that are watching, this is where you do your personal development. My, my clients, my challengers, pick up a book. Do something that's going to help you to get better from the inside out. That's what this is about. And then item number six is exercise, which I'm going to get ready to do in a minute. This is a piece of it because... You know, you, you've got to be able to take care of this one and only body that God's given you. You just, you have to. I'm not even going to go into the benefits. I'll be here for, for another hour. But you got to get your sweat on, you guys. Um, but anyway, this is a simple routine that you can do in the morning. Um, this is just a small piece of what we're going to talk about in my five-day mindset makeover today, you guys. I'm so excited to get started with y'all who have committed to doing this. I'm going to go get my sweat on. And I hope you guys have a wonderful, wonderful Monday.